Hey guys, I'm back in my shop today and I'm so excited for the project I'm working on. My daughter's asked me for another bed. This will be bed number four, I think, for her. But she's changing rooms, she's taking over my oldest son's room, and she asked if I would build her a loft bed. So here's the design. It's gonna be a full-sized mattress on top with a desk and a set of shelves on the other side. This would be a really easy modification if you just wanted to make it a standard full-size bunk bed, but I am gonna get to work now, so let's go build. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is assemble the side rails at the bed. Those are the short rails. I think that'll be easier to get them in the house and upstairs, and then I can do the long ones. So I drilled one and a half inch pocket holes at each end of the two short rails, and I'm attaching them to the legs. So this is the top rail and I'm going to attach it to the leg and it's going to be flush with the outside of the leg and I'm using wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach. So I'm having the pocket hole space inside the mattress. I am going to use wood filler and paint over it so you probably won't see them but they'll be less visible this way for sure. So fun fact, I had my daughter find a loft bed that she liked that I could kind of get the inspiration for the design from and the cost of that bed was 3000 retail and I did an order pickup at the hardware store for my lumber and it was $320 for all of the lumber. Okay, so I've got one of the side frames done. This is how tall the bed's going to be completely. Now I'm going to go back and measure and mark where I need to put the 2 by 10 board for the mattress frame. So the mattress frame is two by 10 boards that I have ripped to nine inches wide each. It gives them a nice smooth edge. And I've already drilled one and a half inch pocket holes on each end. Those are also gonna face inside. I won't have to use wood filler because the mattress is gonna cover them. But this is gonna go nine inches from the top of the legs. I'm attaching these boards with two and a half inch pocket hole screws also. And you want the 2x10 flush with the front of the legs. Alright, so I've got the 2x10 on. Now I'm going to add those two little cross support pieces. They're just for decoration. And these have pocket holes drilled in them also. They're one and a half inch pocket holes. I'm going to have to use wood filler for these. But these are going to go 7 and 13 16 inches from the inside of the leg. You don't have to remember that because we've got the free printable plans and I will link them in the description box below so that you can download them from our website. And I'm also using wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws to attach. You don't really need wood glue for these, but with my daughter being nine, I don't know how rough she's gonna be with the bed and I don't want her to kick anything or knock anything loose. So wood glue will help with that. Okay, so I've got the vertical supports done up on the top, and now I'm gonna add the trim for the desk shelf on this one. And that is a two by two. I ripped it from a two by four, saves money, and it gives me the nice clean lines. And I'm gonna put it 28 and three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the legs. And it's gonna be flush with the front of the legs. Okay, so this frame is done. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. It's going to be a little bit different because it's going to have three shelves instead of one just for the desk. bookshelf side of the bed done. Now I'm going to work on the front and back long side rails and get as much as I can done in the shop before I take everything upstairs to assemble it. Okay, so I've got 
the two short sides done and now I'm going to assemble the front and the back rails as much as possible so that I can just take them upstairs into the house and assemble them. So this is not going to be a complete build. I think I'm going to try to get the two middle legs onto this and the supports and the top rail and that way it's, it'll be really easy to get up the stairs. So the first thing I'm doing is putting the little short vertical supports on the top front rail and I know this one's going to be flush because the ladder is going to be right here and I am attaching it. I've drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into both ends and I'm going to attach it with wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Now this top rail I've drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into one end. This end is not going to have any pocket holes so make sure that when you attach that support piece that it's not on the pocket hole end. Okay, so the front rail is going to be like this and it's going to die into the legs on the shorter pieces. So I'm going to now attach the top rail to the front mattress frame. So I'm using this scrap board right here to make sure that this end is lined up because I don't have the legs right now to attach it to, but that's an easy way to make sure that it's even. And now I'm going to go and attach the top rail to the two by 10 and I'm using wood glue and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. And I'm doing all pocket holes to the inside of the mattress. Most of them you won't see, but the ones that you will see, I'll just use wood filler and paint over. Okay, so this side rail is done. Now it's ready to take it upstairs and attach it to the two end pieces. All right, so now I'm building the back long rail with the mattress frame. And this is also gonna be a two by 10 that I've ripped down with a two by four that I've ripped down. And we're gonna do three of the short pieces. And those are all gonna be 16 inches apart. I'm going to do the same thing with this board at the end since I don't have the legs just to make sure that everything's nice and flush and I'm going to mark for their placement and I'm attaching them the same exact way with one and a half inch pocket holes drilled in each board and attaching with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. So when I'm done with this I'm basically going to have two end pieces for this bed that are pretty much completely done. And then I'll have the front rail and the back rail so I can assemble them upstairs. It'll make it a lot easier to take them up. After I get it all assembled, I can go back and add the shelves and the desk. It's actually a pretty easy bed to build. Okay, so this part's done, and at first I was gonna take this upstairs the way that it was, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add those two middle legs to each of the rails. And those are just two by fours that I've ripped to three inches wide. And I've drilled one and a half inch pocket holes at the top ends. And they are gonna go just like this underneath the mattress frame piece for extra support and they're going to be 14 inches in from the ends. So I'm marking that right now. And I'm attaching them to the bottom of this 2x10 with 2.5 inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Time to assemble the bed. For stability, I'm attaching a two x four to the studs behind the wall and attaching the back frame to that two x four. Now I'm attaching the shelf side with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Now I'm attaching the desk side the exact same way. Now I'm finishing up with a front frame. Clamps really help if you're assembling this by yourself.
My final step for today is to attach the cleats. This is where the rails for the mattress are gonna sit. I'll be back soon with the second half of this build. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss it. easier more easily okay I'll start over again <sighs>